Hello, and we're going to be going through uh, another one of the Norns apps today. And this is one that's called Boing. It's a bouncing ball app, and we're using coder number two to navigate which uh, paddle or column we're editing. And we're using coder number three to adjust the pitches. And we can go above and below the line, as you can see there. To initiate a ball, we, pr we press uh, key two. And to stop it, we press key three. So here we go. Welcome to Boing. So pressing key one and then turning in coder one, we can see the edit parameters. So we can see the usual sorts of uh, parameters that we can edit in terms of levels and so on. Tempo, so at the moment tempo is set at 40. Get up to a 90. The probability. and transpose it. Let's take it up to 60. It's quite interesting just uh, running through the different uh, root notes. Let's try and a bit lower. Gato. Put the probability back up and we'll just lower the tempo. 72. Timber. That's nice. Let's try the noise. You can just hear it poking through. Let's change shape. Let's increase shape. More timber, less noise, cut, the gain for the filter, Let's bring the cut down. You can hear the, the amplitude attack. It's a little bit harder. It's quite soft now. A little bit more decay. Bring the sustain down. Quite 
かず。はい、今です。Interesting sound. We'll go back to the notes in a minute. Let's put a bit more release in there. To the A big difference between 0.01 and 0.11 in terms of the attack. Let's go back here. And then just listen to this. It's a nice sound. You can use key three to stop and start, or to stop the note, and then to restart it, you can press K2. Could sort of get something going in the in the upper register that feels separate from or complementary to the lower register.
be interesting to get something in the middle, right? Let's take this one down. So it's in the low register. Let's put adjacent ones together. So this could be sort of like a baseline. Like that. So you have the left hand section around here that is, let me just straighten that up. <clears throat> you have the left hand section it's giving you a kind of a melody thing. You've got the right hand section, it's giving you a, an upper bound melody, and then a little bass part in the middle. It's interesting the way that these two notes here, what I will euphemistically term the bass, interact with the first paddle. It's really a question of judgment more than anything than, than uh, deliberate. You know, you can design some things, but some parts you're just going to have to kind of trust your feel and, and your uh, appreciation of uh, lots of different kinds of variations. I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, what is actually quite a short walkthrough. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, if you like this content or any of the other, the other material that I do, please remember to like and subscribe and see you next time.